My name is uh, Jeff Sutton. I'm the head of uh, MSN for International. So that's all the markets outside of uh, the US. I run all the media teams, so content, editorial, programming, biz dev, across all of the markets outside of the US. Um, so we have teams in, I think it's 48 markets, uh, and we're publishing content um, across all of those markets. Revenues are, uh, it's about a billion dollars a year, um, and uh, we try and run it very efficiently. Uh, it's very fast moving, the internet, and the whole digital business is super exciting and uh, changing all the time, so nothing ever stays the same for long. It's funny, I did a paper round, and um, I used to go and deliver papers every morning, and I was probably the slowest paper boy on the block because I was always reading all the papers. And so very quickly I, I got, I sort of fell in love with news and, and with newspapers and wanted to be a journalist and wanted to be a reporter from, I don't know, about 13 years old. So I went and worked for Fleet Street newspapers for a few years and I always, um, so I worked for the Daily Mail, Daily Mirror, Sunday Express, uh, Today newspaper. Uh, I think then back to the Daily Mail and various others in between. Then when the, the internet started, so around 95, 96, I started to get very interested in what was happening on the internet and how it seemed to me like that was going to be the next way that news and information was going to be delivered. A job came up at Microsoft um, to do something called MSN News um, and so I became chief editor for MSN News. <laughs> I think the uh, top five things that are for uh, someone coming into this industry, firstly is to have a passion for technology. Uh, you don't have to be a technologist, I mean I can't write code, I can't um, deal with engineering, that's not my job, but I do have a passion for technology. I love the way um, computers are developing, mobile phones are developing, I love gadgets. And I think you need to have a very big passion for technology and understand how consumers will use that and how that can change the sort of content uh, arena. <music> to get through the door for, for MSN, um, you, you do need to try and do something exceptional and outstanding. We have a lot of great people working here. Um, in order to stand out, I think you do need to really work on things like doing your own blog, setting up your own business. Um, trying to do something that, that really makes you stand out in the area that we're covering. So, you know, it could be a blog on uh, the latest news or fashion or entertainment, or it could be setting up a business where you're, I don't know, selling shoes and using the internet to do that, or setting up some sort of new mobile business. I think it, nowadays it's, it's relatively straightforward to do that type of thing. It's not easy to be successful, it's easy enough to, to sort of set it up, but having the right idea and following it through. The third one is be very adaptable. So uh, this industry is still young and still new. It's not always clear what the right roles are, what's needed within an organisation. Um, and I've done many roles in the times that I've, I've been here, as have many of my friends and colleagues. Um, we've had to jump from one um, sort of skill set to another and, and learn. The fourth one would be learn to listen. And this I think is something that I got from being a journalist. Because journal people think journalism is all about asking questions. To me it's all about listening and understanding what you're being told and how um, to then respond and ask the next question and, and build on, on what you've got. The same is for sales. If you're doing sales it's all about listening to what the customer wants and then being able to respond to give them what they want. So I think being able to listen and understand quickly what's happening, that whole area of sort of learning quickly, I think is very important. <laughs> Continually think about what is the big idea that I can bring to someone like MSN. You know, we don't have a monopoly of knowledge or, um, you know, how to, to do things properly. And I think we're continually looking for younger people to tell us what's happening. How are young people using different devices, mobile, tablets, etc. And how can we then capitalise on that? So having you know, good ideas on how to, to um, build the audience and enable us to drive revenue 
in those areas. I think um, a sort of youthful view uh, and being able to articulate that and demonstrate that is, is very strong. I don't think it's the be all and end all. I think um, if you can demonstrate that you're you know, a great person who's hard working, uh, intelligent, uh, articulate, uh, with a lot of get up and go, then that can get over a lot of um, the issues around uh, qualifications. But clearly, um, the bar gets set by qualifications and so therefore you need to be, be getting there. I think that, that young people have to really believe that they can achieve what they want to achieve. And it might seem out of scope or it might seem like you're never going to get there, um, but you just got to go for it. The other thing is I think most of the time you don't actually know where you're going to end up. So you can't say at the age of 13 or 18, this is where I really want to be, because most of the time you're not going to know. You're just going to have to follow things and do your best along the way. How I would uh, try and crack it, I think is really around, uh, uh, as I was sort of said, talking about um, what I can bring, what, what, trying to find the gaps in the business um, as I perceive them and going in with strong suggestions, strong ideas, maybe go and build something online